early morning start in Yellowstone Park, July 26, 2023. This was the start of our second day and we were up at 5.30. We left Lewis Lake Campground at 6.30 in the morning. Before we left though, I had to top the water off in the van. I had to get a shot of this guy camping near us. We passed him on I-80 on the way up. True to Vanagon style, he was going 60, all windows down in the Nevada heat. We had a Westie, but we prefer our Nissan. Joanna looks rested and ready to go in the passenger seat, but how does she really feel? Ah. This is the start of day two, our second full day and last day in Yellowstone, and what a beautiful morning. Wow. It's gorgeous. Let's see what we get. I already saw deer this morning. Uh -huh. We drove the west thumb of Yellowstone Lake and got a sunrise greeting from some of the locals. Look at those guys. I get my National Park Lakes confused in the next clip. Yosemite Lake. It's huge. It's what Lake Tahoe was like before people, I guess. Spectacular, beautiful view. I think over there's the lake house we're going a little bit. Our next stop was here, Fishing Bridge. Here on Fishing Bridge, where ironically, there is no fishing. All right, but we've seen it. And we're heading back to the car. All right. This is the main lodge at Lake Lodge Cabins, and we stopped here for some breakfast. The main lodge is constructed of logs and has rocking chair views of Yellowstone Lake. This beautiful lobby has two fireplaces, a lounge, and a gift store. Behind the lodge are 186 cabins. It's open from early June through the end of September. After breakfast, it was time to head to Hayden Valley to see some more geothermal magic. But we had to stop first and check out this guy. All right, out there in the field is a bison sleeping. I am not taking a selfie with the bison. There he is. He's probably wondering why are these people stopping to watch me sleep. Here we are at the mud volcano area of Hayden Valley. This area has many mud pots, and the hillsides are strewn with trees cooked by the steam. This is one of the most acidic parts of the park, which is why they put in all the boardwalks to keep us tourists safe. This is us walking on a boardwalk in Yellowstone Park. <laughs> <laughs> These are good videos to get. Look at that. Whoa. Dragon's mouth. The waves are supposed to be like the tongue lashing out. Wow. Volcano. All well, the trees up there are dead too from We're gonna go. Boardwalks. Yeah. There's Sour Lake. Why is it so sour? This has something to do with it. Black Dragon's Cauldron. Sour Lake off in the distance. Hmm. 
If you pause the video, you can read how the Black Dragon's cauldron blew apart the hillside here in 1948. Doesn't sound like any hot tub I've ever heard of. Sounds like a hot tub. Ooh, that is stinky. Ooh, he's making cabbage. Burning cauldron. Oh. On this side, beautiful countryside. On that side, the churning cauldron. Sizzling basin. It's not doing much, but if you listen, you can hear it's like he's got an upset stomach. Okay, onward. Geological features down there. But then look at the valley. It's so pretty. We probably don't add much to the beauty, but it was a good spot for a selfie. Right up the parking lot. Thanks for coming by. Nature's right there. Pretty stinky. Oh, we had some of those for beers last night, right? The bent nail? We got back in the van, and just up the road of it was Sulphur Cauldron. Sulphur Cauldron. This one's big, man. Look at all the little pools over there. Back on the road and headed toward Canyon Village, we came across an unusual pedestrian. Did you know you're supposed to call them bison and not buffalo? Either way, he wasn't the last one we were going to see. All right, there's another bison out there. He was standing right before I turned on the camera. Of course, he laid down as soon as I turned. You can see him flipping his tail. Oh, there's one coming over here in the river. Hey, there's a buffalo swimming the river right there. Cool, I see it. All right, he's back up. It's hard for me to tell the tiny screen I have with this, but hopefully you can see the buffalo. Let's try an experiment. We tried this before. Not with this. Yeah, that doesn't really work. Oh well, I tried but I promise you some better bison tableau coming up. Our next stop was Canyon Village and the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. That was pretty cool. The buffalo gets out of the water before it gets to this point, huh? Canyon of Yellowstone. I can't imagine why they call it that. Why they call it Yellowstone? We're still going up. Yeah. 
pretty spectacular. So the lesson to be learned is, because you have to see Old Faithful, but this is also pretty amazing. Today has not disappointed. Beautiful. Having seen the south side of the canyon, we headed to the north side to see the brink of the upper and lower falls. Pretty cool. I'm sure it's unpopular to say this, but the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone is better to see than Old Faithful. It has unmatched spectacle and scenery, and these two tourists recommend it very highly. Remember I promised you bison shots? Well, on the way back to camp, we saw this guy. I think the Barber of Seville suited him. Turns out, they taste pretty good, too. After lunch, we headed over to the Canyon Visitor Center and got an overview of all the places we'd seen on their huge relief map. We also stopped at Lake Village again and saw the Lake Hotel and their historic yellow tour bus. And Joanna got the most epic photo of a bison on the whole trip. Not this one. This one. And when we finally made it back to our campsite, a squirrel was chattering hello. Remember everyone, it's not the amount of van in the camp, it's the amount of camping in the van. Ulu Maka.